Good day, everybody. This is uh, Chris of the Ancient Scholar, and today what I'd like to talk about real quick is I'd like to do uh, start a series of videos on uh, receptors, particularly receptors of the uh, peripheral nervous system, as I'll spend uh, quite some time talking about the peripheral nervous system, as it, it does have a, uh, a very uh, plays a very significant role uh, when uh, considering and appreciating. Uh, certain types of uh, physiological effects to include uh, uh, sympathetic ner nervous effects, parasympathetic nervous effects, um, also include uh, toxicological effects as well. Um, and I guess where I'd like to start is we'll just kind of start uh, at the beginning, uh, where I like to, at least what I like to start at beginning wise, and, and that is just talking about an analogy or a model that we can use to understand receptors. Uh, we, we, we have some intuitive, I, I think we have some intuitions about receptors and, and we know that that when I um, when I interact with a receptor, so when I interact with a receptor uh, there's some sort of action uh, associated with interacting with a receptor and I, I think that's pretty intuitive and I think a lot of people even if they don't know much about uh, receptors, at least biological receptors, I, I think we have a, kind of an intuitive understanding that, well, it, it's something and that if I interact with it, you know, something else happens, a, a kind of a um, cause and effect, uh, cause and effect kind of a thing going on there. And uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a model that we can use. And now, uh, when we when I say model, uh, don't don't think of a model as uh, the real thing or as as, as quote unquote reality, because the reality is uh, exceedingly complicated. Uh, the reality is most of the receptors are proteins, and these proteins take on very very complicated uh, shapes, um, and we call these shapes uh, conformations. Um, and uh, many of the confirmations we, we, we don't even necessarily know um, all that well on, on a lot of receptors, but, but we know that when I act with, interact with a receptor, exceedingly complicated chemistry uh, occurs, and the, con and the conformational changes that result um, from, from this uh, result and other changes, which kind of leads to a cascade of different changes and, and, and then this, this action. Um, that we all talk about. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of that, that complexity and we're going to say yes we know that there's all this complexity but we're going to we are going to simplify that and we are going to kind of uh, compact or distill all of that into a simpler model uh, just so we can develop some intuition about receptors and and most people, myself included, what we'll, we'll do is we'll start at what's known as the, the lock and key analogy or the lock and uh, key model. <clears throat> so in the lock and key model, what we do is, is let's say that this is um, the cell membrane here and I have a, a, a receptor embedded in that membrane. Okay, And, and that receptor has a certain shape. Uh, what we call its conformational shape, and then that receptor has a little opening, and let's just say that the opening has um, a little shape as well, a special shape. In this in this case, it's a little rectangular, and and we can kind of uh, visualize this receptor as is sort of being a lock, and then um, I have other substances. Okay, they may be uh, medications. They may be neurotransmitters. Uh, they may be toxins. Okay. Um, they may be um, other other elements, chemical elements. That is uh, other elements, different molecules. Okay. They can be uh, any number of things that we want them to be, but these uh, these 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 little uh, compounds or components. Um, if they have the right shape, so let's say that I have uh, some some chemical sub substance that has this rectangular shape here, and and that shape just happens to be the right shape to fit into that receptor, we can call these a key. 
and it's kind of like a, a door. Um, I can insert the key into my door. I can unlock the door and open it, and then I can go in and do stuff. Well, that's somewhat of a, a, of a, of a decent analogy here with a receptor is that these, the, these molecules, these substances, um, can interact with this receptor and they can either um, lock the receptor, okay, so they can turn stuff off if you want to look at it that way, or in some cases, they can unlock the receptor and make different things happen. And I, I think that's the, the basic analogy that we'll use, the basic model, and, and that model will work fairly well uh, for the, the, the duration of all these videos is this, this what we call a lock and key, a lock and key model. And I think I'll cut this particular video off here and then we'll start talking about uh, specific types of receptors in uh, subsequent videos. As always, thanks for hanging in there.